Hi guys, today I want to show you how I calibrated my black belt cura settings to get the correct extrusion width. So Disco Design asked me a question about my black belt cura settings and when I was going through it I realized that actually I don't know what my flow rate is supposed to be. So you can see the default flow is 85% in black belt cura. So I went about calibrating my, my flow rate. So let's get started by looking at the basic settings in Black Belt Cura. So if I look at my printer, I created a new profile called Hypercube Infinite. And if I just look at the machine settings, it's nothing special. I've got my width. So that's my X direction, my Z, I made 10 meters, whatever, and the practical Z height that I get on my printer is 180. So that's the actual height that I can print. Then I've got my starting G-code is just, um, what is this, Z relative or makes the extrusion zero. And then I home the X and the Y. And then I extrude a little bit of filament, 15 millimeters, just to prime the nozzle. And that's all that that's in there and then at the end I just switch off the extruder the heat bed disable the motors and I move the print head to x0 and y250 just to move it out of the way and in here all I've got is my um, material is 1.75 my settings here my gantry is 35 degrees and i'm using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle so, so most of these are just the black belt defaults so doing one copy i'm not printing a raft right now my, i'm printing the world speed slowly the flow rate is 100 uh, percent okay so normally I have this at zero, but if the if your nozzle is a bit close to the bed, you can change this. So I need to move mine up, up a little bit. Uh, so I don't have a secondary fan. The layer height, 0.2. So now let, let's get to the, the actual testing that I did. So what I did was I just grabbed a calibration cube. So this is Prusa's calibration cube, the footy by footy cube. And what I want to do is print this in vase mode and then measure the actual wall thickness. So what I want to do is print 0.4 wide, which is one, one line. The bottom thickness, I also want 0.4 and the top thickness 0.4 so you'll notice here that it shows two layers top and bottom in black belt Kira, this last line here that's the top and this corner here is the bottom so if i change my bottom layers to i don't know 15 and i slice you'll see that the the bottom that bottom part gets thicker not the the bottom that i think expect to be the bottom okay so i only want one bottom layer which is just that corner there like that okay so what i want to do is print the calibration cube like this and then measure the walls to see that they are actually 0 0.4 okay so let's have a look at the rest of the settings. Top bottom lines, these are all the defaults. I'm not doing any infill in this print. The material, um, 
my PLA I'm printing at 195 and this is the value that we want to change the flow uh, so when I printed at 85 percent this is what it looked like even though the slicing looks perfect this wall is not printing and also you can see my measurement here it's like 0 0.035 so I changed my um, extrusion my flow from 85 to 100 percent so then I've got my retraction here which was the thing that Disco Design was asking about uh, I've got mine on four millimeters um, I think sometimes I think this might need to be a bit more so I'm going to change it now this is I keep on default print speed I'll just keep these on default for now I'm not going to do fancy combing enable print cooling for PLA yes I just tell the fan to start at a hundred percent don't ramp up as my fan makes a terrible noise at partial throttle I'm not doing support for this print and the mesh fixes are the default down here we've got special mode and that is to spiralize the contour which is basically vase mode so I was reading the Kira documents and it says when you're using vase mode it just does a single extrusion at the nozzle width so this should give us 0 0.4 okay so let's print this and see what it looks like If we now measure the wall thickness with the micrometers, you can see that the wall thickness is spot on at 0.4. Look at the camera. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support. Um, I hope to make a lot more videos this year. See you soon.